Hey, in the last video, we have done till the modifications of glass anima cement in dental cements in the operative dentistry. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the zinc oxide eugenol cement. Zinc oxide eugenol cement can be accelerated in its setting reaction by adding zinc acetate, then alcohol or water or glacial acetic acid. By accelerating the reaction, that means its working time as well as its setting time is increased. And if we have to retard the reaction of the restoration of the zinc oxide eugenol cement, that means we need more working on the setting time, then we can uh, do the cooling of the glass lab. We can increase the liquid powder ratio. We can add glycerine as well or olive oil. So in this way, the reaction can be hampered. Now, if we add alumina to the powder and orthoethoxybenzoic acid to the liquid, it increases the mechanical properties of the ZOE cement. As ZOE cement has decreased mechanical properties and decreased strength, low wear resistance, then by adding alumina to the powder and orthoethoxybenzoic acid to the liquid, we can increase the mechanical properties. Now the first cement that shows addition to the tooth structure is zinc polycarboxylate cement. So zinc polycarboxylate cement was the first cement which showed addition with the tooth structure. Now certain cements can be proofful which provides irritation to the pulp and the severe irritation or the severe irritant to the pulp is provided by the silicate cement so when the cavity is prepared very close to the pulp we ideally prefer not to use a silicate cement as a base because it will provide irritation to the pulp now the now the severe irritant to the pulp tissue is silicate cement as the pH at the time of insertion is less than 3 that is highly acidic and even it remains below 7 when after one month examination is done and uh, silicate cement is a highly soluble cement the only advantage of the silicate cement is that it releases rapid fluoride as we have discussed in our last video now i'll tell you the mechanism of action of polycarboxylate cement that besides its ph to be highly acidic that is, it is still kind to the pulp as uh, what happens is that pH of the polycarboxylate cement is 1.7 as we have discussed before but the liquid is rapidly neutralized by the powder and as the setting reaction proceeds the pH of the mix rises rapidly. Because of the larger size of the polyacrylic acid molecules it limits the diffusion through the dentinal tubules. So the large molecule size of the polyacrylic acid it limits or it obstructs the diffusion of the ions into the dentine or the dentinal tubules so it is proof full in the being kind to pulp so all right now we are going to discuss about liners liners are the thin layers of the material that are used to provide a barrier to protect the dentine from residual reaction diffusing out of a restoration any restoration that we provide to the tooth obviously can't be 100% simulating or equivalent to the natural tooth or the healthy tooth structure so restorations sometimes it uh, gives out certain products or diffuses certain reactants that can be harmful to the patient or the tooth so liners when applied they protect the dentine from all these reactants that diffuse out from a restoration the liners are always or it should be used beneath a restoration now liners can be thin film liners whose size ranges from 1 to 50 micrometer or they can also be thick liners. Thin liners are used like varnishes or solution liners varying in sizes from 2 to 5 micrometer and the second are suspension liners that vary in size from 20 to 25 micrometer whereas thick liners are the cement liners which have size varying from 0.2 to 1 mm. Thick liners are used for pulpal medication and thermal protection. As the name signifies, the liner is thick in nature, so hence the properties are enhanced. Now we are going to talk about bases. Bases are measured from 1 to 2 mm. They are thick liners or the thick bases beneath the restoration that can obviously or is obviously providing pulpal medication as well as thermal as well as mechanical protection. Now what happens 
in by basis it that it provides thermal protection and mechanical support by distributing the stress from restoration across the underlying dentine surface that means the restoration does not bear whole of the stress or the occlusal forces it distributes the stress to the dentine as well as the whole part of the tooth including the periodontion as well now the next we are going to talk about is the biocompatible cements of the pulp zinc oxide eugenol and polycarboxylate cements are the most kind cements to the pulp but zinc oxide as we stated before is contraindicated under composite restoration now based on solubility what i am going to tell you is the solubility variance of the cements the most or the highly soluble cement is the zinc oxide eugenol or the silicate cement which have equal solubility followed by polycarboxylate cement followed by zinc phosphate cement and then glass isomer cement glass isomer cement and silico phosphate cement have uh, equal about uh, equal uh, solubility in the oral cavity the least soluble cement is the resin cement resin cement is the best cement for a restoration as it is least soluble it provides a very good marginal seal it prevents micro leakage and it provides very good thermal and the mechanical properties to the restoration now one more point that i need to discuss is in the cases of orthodontic treatment what we do is by while banding of the molar bands we prefer glass isomer cement over any other cement as it releases high amount of fluoride and there are more um, chances of poor oral hygiene and uh, plaque and calculus accumulation in cases of the orthodontic patients so gic provides a good hygiene and a good fluoride release to the tooth so with this we are completed with the dental cements as well in this course we have done two topics number one is fundamental of cavity preparation and the other that we have done is dental cements now i have actually extracted a lot from the various books and this is what i found is relevant and can be asked in any objective so with this we finish with the topic and keep on studying keep reading your textbooks or the the books you are preferring from for an objective and uh, start where you are use whatever you have and do what you can i hope you'll always succeed thank you